Hey, 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 this is Rosa, RCG Creations. How are you? I'm bringing to you something totally new. I found, actually, I was goofing around and this popped in my head because I was just looking at some stuff on the internet. But anyway, uh, this is a thing called, uh, oh, I just have my notes here. Um, it's called the Stacker from ScorePal. And what it does, here's the finished project. Let me move this out of the way and see here it is but what the, what it's meant for is for you to store all your adhesives that you currently use on a regular basis so they're always right there by your fingertips and what's nice about it is you use it while it's on the stand and you put it where it is you need to put it then once you're done with it you stick it on let me move all this out of the way here It's sitting here like this doing all what you're doing and then you stick it on here and what I did is I put contact paper on here so it doesn't stick instead of using cardstock because you know what you want that plastic coating so you don't waste part of your adhesive but anyway it's a little stand see here's the finished project yeah and I noticed I'm off a little bit I didn't get in dead center I, next time what I need to do is Put an X here in the dead center. <laughs> <coughs> so that way I'll know when I put this, it's in the dead center. But you can see it's if you can see it's off. Let me see here. Make sure you're I'm in focus here. Yeah, you can see it's off. But what's nice is you just use all your adhesive. Now this is this good uh this get this from the um, hardware store and the this is um duct tape for your ducks in the house. But this makes great for bumpers and stuff like that for card making, scrapbook pages. When you want to make something silver okay and then you store whatever it is that you want to store in here uh, this is my glue this is my really good I get this a Tuesday morning I think it's like a dollar maybe two bucks but it's not very it's very inexpensive so this way you just store all that but because I'm so frugal as you all know I recycle the cover and the back to my 12 by 12 scrapbook pages so what I did is I cut it into a circle and you make this to, to fit what you want to fit because as you can see there's all different kinds of tape and different sizes so it's totally up to you what you want to do it with okay so you just cut it to the circle and then you get a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll and then cut it whatever you want to do but I went ahead and used paper, uh, toilet paper roll and I sprayed it and I sprayed the inside with Lysol and I waited like 10-15 minutes and then I sprayed it again and I sprayed the inside so this way I know it's totally disinfected just for security you know just for safety features and then I covered it with contact paper okay and let's go to the next phase alrighty okay I'll be back okay just checking to make sure the recording's back on <coughs> excuse me what I did is I cut the contact paper and then I made some slits here on it so when I go over and put this back down it'll have a smooth finish so I'll be back when this is done already I'm back and here is the completed finished project so I pick it up hold this up so you can see it there it is and as you can see the toilet paper roll holds my scissors just fine no problem and of course you can always put other things in here like say for example a pencil or a stylus or a knife blade and this is my retractable knife which I use all the time and see whatever fits in there holes and it's right there on your table and this is also great that you can take this to a crop and uh, it's portable but anyway I'm taking all this out just to show you everything and then here I have because right now this is all I have that'll fit. I have some other tapes, but you know, I don't like to get a whole bunch of stuff. I like to use what I have and then get rid of it and then get another one to refill it, to replace it. So this is actually only one, two, three, four, five, five different tapes. And this is the finished project. So I just covered it with contact paper. This is just contact paper that I had in my stash. 
There's my toilet paper roll, and I cut it long enough so I could fit all the way down here, because what's nice, from what I saw in the video that they were showing, <coughs> uh, is, like, say when you're done, but you're not totally done with it, because this is contact paper, it's plastic, you can put it right here, and it'll hold it until you do what you need to do, and then when you're done with it, you take it off, and you use it again, and then you just put what's left over back on just put it all right back here back on what's left left over there so you know what I think I got out of frame there just now let me just double check it so when you're using it and you put it on your project and you're not done but you're done for the moment stick it right here because this is contact paper it won't it won't stick to it but it'll stay in place and then you finish your rest of your project that you're going to use your paper your adhesive with and then you put this back on your roll And then you take everything stays down. Everything just everything always stays here. All you do is just take move with these around until you whatever tape that you need that you're using, and then that stays on the top. And then everything else goes back in place. And there you go. Made myself a little. Um, I still don't know the name of that, but I, you know what? I'm gonna put this on the on the sub on the header of my YouTube video, and I'm also gonna put that in the first thing that you see the name of this project because I have it in my phone. But I'm gonna I want to I'm gonna stay in, staying true to myself and stay under 15 minutes on a video. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Please hit like, so I can, hit like, subscribe. And definitely share me to some friends so we can get some more subscribers. We thank you so much, and we'll see you at the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I forgot to show you on the back what I did with one of those red little circles that I used. Is I just covered it to make it a little bit prettier looking on the back. And I just, you know, of course, used my hot glue gun on there. So I just wanted to show you. But then that's the whole project. That's what it looks like. And there's where I went ahead and reinforced this just to be on the safe side with some extra hot glue. And then I got my, um, oh, my bone folder. And then I just smoothed it so this way it wouldn't be bulky and chunky. I just moved it around just to give myself extra grip just to be on the safe side. Because you just, you know, you never know. Things happen. So anyway, there's my entire project. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.